hey, I just uh, went to a guitar forum and it was all about you know a piece of software where you can you can have it um, figure out the chords of a song. And there was this comment underneath that um, that post that said, well, I'm using this software because I just have a terrible ear. I cannot hear stuff like that. And you guys you probably don't need to use this because you have the whatever, right? And that's the same story over and over again. We make up stories about why we can't learn something, and then it becomes true because then we don't try. Then whenever it's hard, we just pull back and say, oh, I can't learn that. So oh, let me focus on something I can learn, right? And that's the most pathetic thing on the planet Earth. And sorry, I'm not trying to put anyone down. I'm just trying to get real with you and call it what it is. And here's what it is. When we want to learn, learn anything, you know, technique, uh, sweet picking, rhythm, chords, uh, want to learn to listen for the chords in a song or do a copy and arrangement of a song, the bass, the drums, the everything, then that's an initial wall that we have to push through. There are so many things we have to learn and so many new things that it seems impossible to get to the other side of the wall. That's just a fact, that's how it feels. But then we need to push through and keep on keeping on, you know, until we are on the other side. That doesn't mean we're finished learning. That just means that now st things start making sense. I can hear the bass line. Okay, I start with the bass line and then I can hear kind of, okay, so I have the... So I have part of a scale here, okay? And, and so you start deciphering what the skill is really about. And then it seems possible suddenly. Then you're through the wall. But most people, and there are two basic, you know, the biggest walls in guitar development is just at the beginning when we're trying to learn something. And then when we try to push for mastery, you know, for that level, that highest level, that's another wall that we have to push through. So most people give up by the first wall, you know, and then we have a whole bunch of people who never ever reaches for mastery, never gets beyond the second wall, but they could if they knew that it was just a matter of pushing in order to get to that. And it seems like, oh, I don't have the talent because that's the conclusion we always draw whenever we get, you know, we face, but it's never about talent. It's always about that initial, every, you have to, when you have to start playing chords, you know, it, everything, the fingers, the muscular, every, there's so many things you have to adapt to. But here's why it's a pathetic excuse when you can't. I have two short fingers, my fingers are too long, my arms are too short, I'm too old, too young, I have too much time, I have too little time, I have too much money, I have too few obligations, whatever it is, you can point to anything and say, that's why I can't do it. But basically, when it comes to practicing, it's a game. It's a game like anything else. So you're on the playing, playing field of practicing. And here's the opponents that are there, right? There are the, all the things that happen that try, that try to keep you from getting better, right? And you point to the opponents, you point to the playing field, the size of it, you point to the size of the goal, the ball, everything is wrong, and everything's the reason why you can't win. Why you can't, and you're pointing towards stuff that is just part of the freaking game, right? And using that as an excuse for why you can't score. What, what, what does that look like? You are the, you, the, your body is the most advanced organism on planet Earth. You have the most advanced precision tool right here on planet Earth. The, 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 a supercomputer of a brain. Just look at what your species have done. We went to the moon, right? Invented the internet, electricity, cars, the microwave oven, you know, just name it. You can do a list so long of just incredible magic. We fly for freak's sake, right? We have airplanes weighing a thousand tons and they lift in, like birds in the air, right? But I can't learn to listen for the chords in a freaking song because I don't have the talent. That is, if you look up pathetic in a dictionary, that should be the definition. Excuse me. And again, I'm not pointing fingers because I've done this so many times myself. But you have to wake up from it. It's pathetic. Call it what it is. Go to my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free.